Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Chenjoy Plans. Today I am back in my Planning Roses planner to do a Halloween-ish plan with me. So if you watch my main planner spreads um, or watch my lineup at least for October, you will know that I'm not doing a Halloween planner spread in my main planner, but I am doing ironically three in this planner. And I kind of messed myself up because I was supposed to do one last week, but I'm not super organized for this planner. So, um, yeah, I'll have to do one kind of in November, but that's okay. There's one that's a little more discreet, so I will make it work. But um, this spread is kind of a Franken plan. Well, they all are in this planner, but it's a combination of some full boxes from the cute spooks kit from Glam Planner last year. And these were the kits that didn't make the cut when I did my main planner spread, but now hindsight 2020, they aren't like bad full boxes. So I kept them and like, I don't know, I didn't need to be that picky last year, but, um, I saw when the Fruity Sticker Co. released this colorway with, um, it's called Candy, and it has obviously the little candy deco. I just immediately knew that it would be perfect with these full boxes and the colors. They're not like a spot on match, but um, they definitely blend together and work together really well. And just the candy theme is so cute, so perfect for Halloween. And I was so excited. So I ended up picking up the date covers, the like pattern ones with the candy and then um, the disc heart checklist and um some like extra boxes like label boxes and I think that's it that I picked up so those three things in the colorway plus my just kind of my own leftovers with the full boxes and I pulled in some glitter headers from my leftover collection it was just perfection so I definitely am going to need to look ahead and um in my next fruity sticker co order go and like kind of match up like I did with this if picking out the little heart checklist like I'm doing here um and you can see they come in sets of three but I stacked some to be six and kept some to be three just kind of depended on the day and then I did also add in date numbers right away before I forgot. And those are also from the Fruity Sticker Co. And I love that they have the white bubble background, but that they're cut around the numbers. They're like kiss cut compared to circle because they will pop against more bold date covers, but they don't take away if that makes sense. So I'm a big fan of those and I have like five sheets of them because I never want to run out. So here are the three full boxes that I'm bringing in. Um, and then I also pulled in, sorry, I was thinking about the washi at the bottom is also from the Fruity Sticker Co. And it's in the Festive Rainbows, which is my favorite, like probably my second favorite colorway is Festive and um, behind the Soft Sunflower, which is the one in my freebie. Because if you didn't already know, I'm part of the Fruity Sticker Co. PR team, so you can save 15% off or get my um, freebie if you write my name, Jen, in the notes to seller. So, anyways, that this this colorway from that's in the bottom washi is like my second favorite colorway from them. Anyways, <laughs> I'm pulling in this um, meal like dinner tracker. And it's from Once More With Love sticker book from Michaels, which talk about a throwback. I I think I use most of mine and then I gave it to a friend that was trying out um, some stickers because I was done using what I could. Um, they were cute, but they, the, I like the quality from Once More With Love, like the real, not the real, I shouldn't say that, like once more with loves stuff not the michael's stuff because it's definitely different paper which is understandable you're mass producing on like a whole nother level <laughs> um going back to the sidebar 
I'm just adding in my highlight sticker from the Fruity Sticker Co. And then that little dinner's label is also, or dinner's um, script is also from the Fruity Sticker Co. And then the script at the top that says October is from Plana Hannah, and it is font four. So love those. I also spent way longer than needed to on finding the right color icons for my habit tracker. So I did cut some of that footage out and I apologize if some of this is choppy. I feel like I kept on getting interrupted so I just have long pauses um, and just, I don't know. I don't know. I think I just spent longer than I normally do on this spread, but that's okay. Happens sometimes just like playing with stickers. And then, um, I did mark those birthday lunches or birthday things on Saturday and I did them in square boxes and the, both of those little doodles are actually from Sugar Pop Fizz. They're both from um, samplers. So the little rainbow, which I feel like is just so fun to mark. I definitely need to get more like a full sheet of them because they're just, they're good. Just easy going, like cheerful things to add to spreads, um, especially during bright color spreads. And then the little like slice of cake was also from a free freebie that I got from one of the PR girls. And I love that too. So I'm just trying to pull some flags and get kind of ready for filling in the week and marking my videos. In a minute um, or two, I will pull in some laptop stickers from the Fruity Sticker Co. And I pulled in different um, colors. Like I can't remember all the like different colorways off the top of my head that I pulled it from. So... Um, you will see that in a minute and I'm trying to do more like marking of PR or like other planner, like YouTube stuff that I need to do in this planner. And hopefully that works a little bit better, but we shall see. On Tuesday, I also used a flag to mark having pizza with, um, one of my friends. We went to, um, like one of those built your own pizza places, which is my favorite. And that pizza little doodle is from Carly Plants. And it's definitely an older one, I think, um, that I got in an oops bag. But they're great. I love Carly Plants. And I just kind of went through my reusable sticker album and filled in a bunch of the like empty gaps with stickers that I thought matched as well as they possibly could. And then those little additional checklists on Friday and Sunday are for marking um, the returns I needed to do. We had like a ton of Amazon returns piling up and then a YouTube to do. So that is what I used my extra checklist for this week. I like being able to change it up and every week doing something kind of different wherever the need is. And this is where I was talking about that I'm marking my videos for the week. And hopefully you are still liking the three videos a week. I feel like I'm in a good rhythm with them. And I personally enjoy, but um, definitely let me know down below. And that is pretty much it for the pre-planning. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in another video. Bye everyone.